August 16 is the day of high tension. People born on August 16 are very sensual individuals who know how to follow their path in life. In everything they undertake there is a sense of sophistication, style, magnetic attractiveness, delighting nearly everyone they come into contact with. Although they seem healthy individuals, those born today are invariably a notable interest and or a call to various forms of expressing sensuality and sexuality. The authoritarian aspects of this personality are pronounced also because they may have difficulty in tolerating conflicting points of view. Indeed, they will seek to prevail in these situations and, in some extreme cases they will destroy those they consider enemies or adversaries. The call within them to gain power within their sphere of influence is particularly pronounced. When people born on August 16 get to this point, they will exaggerate. To be bad is something natural in what concerns them. Their unusual behavior requires an audience because suffering in silence is unbearable. Those born today want to be headlining, sometimes even before a whole group of people that normally could share what they experience. People born on August 16 are often extremely sensitive type of people, excited and nervous. Although they can be hurt by the lack of courtesy of others, they are molded from a very hard core that can handle virtually any attack, be it mental or physical. Also, they can be quite destructive to others when they put that in mind. In some cases, revenge can get strong connotations in their motivation to make that work. Seductive and magnetic, those born today can gain immeasurable power by extending and then withdraw their affection. If natives of August 16th go pretty far on the negative side, they will inevitably exert destructive powers on themselves. The permanent state of searching excitement may distort or can lead to extreme personality. A major hazard to those born on August 16th is that they lose the ability to enjoy the simple pleasures and all that is not conventional. In doing so, they themselves can become increasingly distant from family and friends. Despite their anti-authoritarian behavior and sometimes anti-social, most natives day August 16th find a social niche where their talents come to serve a real need in society or in the circle within which they operate. Although they are interested to lead, they very rarely are interested in establishing rules. As bosses, they can be adored and even worshipped. As leaders, they will not be noticed and will not be the best choice, especially when it comes to responsibility they must uphold for an entire group of people. Seduction and rebellion are their specialty more than domination and control. Tips. Learn to change when you need to drive conventional human devices. Try not to affect it, at least for their sake. Be kind to your enemies. You will need them. Train more energy in your inner life. Numerology. Ruled by Neptune. You are known to be ruled by day number 16, if you are born on the 16th of the month. There are many great personalities, authors, as well as artists born on August 16, Madonna Sacconi, Anne Blith, James Cameron, etc. If your day falls on a 16th, your ruling planet is Neptune. If you are born on 16th, then you are affected by the numerology of number 7. The power of your number makes you a great philosopher, laid-back and religious type of person. You are not a person who may get anything by being lucky. Your reward will come through means of hard work and dedication. There may be some disappointments on the way, but persistence is a must. Success is never easy to you. It is necessary that you keep working hard or may end up doing trivial jobs, and will have to live with unfulfilled desires and ambitions. But God Almighty has gifted you with strong will power and high level of mental dexterity. You like to peak less and you are a good follower. You have to guard against your short temper or you may lose your love and friends. You tend to live alone and you are not very comfortable in materialistic pleasures. You have to be careful about your married life, and you have to invest time and money to keep interest of your spouse. You find your heart at ease when following altruistic ambitions. When you are working for others you have much better chance to succeed. You love to live in a fantasy world and you like to delve in mystic thoughts and solitude. You may not speak much in public, 
but you are very comfortable among like-minded people who will show you a remarkable streak of leadership, and you will easily influence them with your thoughts. You have to learn to keep up with your position even in face of opposition. You are always interested in the secrets of life after death. You may even be ready to talk to the dead through a medium. You love to research tarot, palmistry, astrology and meaning of fingerprints. You have special liking for history. You like to critically analyze everything including your inner thoughts, family, society, and the world at a large. You like to delve deeply in solitude. You have to guard against the tendency to exhibit strange and eccentric behavior. Many famous poets, musicians, writers, reformers and mathematicians, revolutionaries come under number 7. There is always a chance of you drifting away from homes and families. So to avoid this work to get along with others, or your life will go into solitude and sorrow. Your lucky numbers are 2 and 7. Your lucky days are the 2nd, 11th, 20th, and the 29th. In any month your unlucky days are 8th, 16th, 17th, and the 26th. There is a high chance of failure if you execute new projects on these unlucky days. Your lucky gem is the cat's eye. It shall give you courage and power to earn. It also improves your chances of succeed as an inventor. Other lucky gems include pearl, moonstone, opal, or tiger's eye.